Hey Taurus, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead. My apologies for being a day late. Got a little sick over the weekend with some allergies and this is what happened. I ended up being a day late. So I am here to do a reading for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. It is for your sign in Taurus, whichever place you fall into that. Sun, Moon, Rising, or um, Venus or Jupiter. I am using in, um, how do I say, in... Uh, um, in appreciation for Halloween, <laughs> I'm using uh, the Modern Witch Tarot. I'm going to clarify with a bunch of different decks. I'll name those as we go through. If you're interested to know what kind of decks I use, um, there's a listing down below in my Amazon link. If you purchase from there, I will get some sort of commission. I think it's 10% or something. So if you decide to do that, um, you can at least see uh, the cards that I have there. Okay. And um, I'm also going to be using this deck here. It is an oracle deck. It's called the Witch's Wisdom Oracle Deck. And it is um, in also in honor of Halloween as well. So, okay. Let's get going here. So, <coughs> welcome, if you're brand new. Uh, I'm Elsie, and I'm your reader. And uh, we are looking here at uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the sign of Taurus. What I like to do um, lately is that I like to just take information from spirit and follow up with questions uh, from the um, from the answers that are given to us, and they create questions, and I will just answer those questions for you. Um, I've already blessed all of my decks and cleaned them, so I'm just going to ask for Archangel Michael and Archangel Shemuel if I could have your help with guidance and understanding, please. Also, if I could have my guides and angels present, please, I do need your help with signs and symbols. All right. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to cut this deck, and then we will start. I'm just going to ask um, Spirit for anything for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, whether that be home, love, um, relationships, friendships, family, children, husband, wife, marriage, anything that is for the highest good of Taurus, please. If I could please have uh, five cards for the highest good of Taurus and let us know what energies are in and around Taurus collectively. All right, so we start off with the Seven of Swords. So you feel as though someone around you is not maybe not telling you the whole truth. Um, Seven of Swords is about deceit, but I feel like it is more about someone not telling you what you want to know um, or someone kind of dancing around the subject. Um, and I feel like you are going to take control here and you are going to be the one to do a little bit of super sleuthing, I believe. So if you can't get your answer out of the person that you ask for that answer, um, you become a little bit defensive, right? You become defensive as to why they won't share that information with you first. And uh, secondly, you start to look over your shoulder and wonder what's going to happen next. Just because if somebody's being a little sly with you, I don't know. You know, Taurus is pretty um, um, intuitive, uh, in my um, my perspective, um, pretty intuitive and kind of feels vibes and knows what's going on because we're earth signs, right? We feel the vibes in the earth. So um, let's take a look here and see what we've got for two more cards for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Um, there is uh, the Ace of Swords. That tells me that you want to talk. You need clarity on something. Um, something that you're not clear on because of the Seven of Swords. I feel like you feel, quite literally feel, something is up and you don't know what it is. And um, your intuition's been nagging at you, Taurus, I believe. The intuition has been nagging and you're not exactly sure why. Let's find out. See if we can get some information here for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the sign of Taurus. For the highest good for the week ahead, please. Highest good for the week ahead. Got one sticking out here. We'll take that. Five of Swords. Something that you may have been fighting for. I feel like it's something you were fighting for in the past. That there was um, something in the past that... You wanted to be victorious, the last man standing, and you didn't care how that happened. Um, but I feel like this this is very curious here. Um, 
you know, swords are what's up in your mind, right? Communication and connection. I find that um, the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Swords are telling me that you need clarification or you want some clarity on a situation that's not exactly been clear for you. Whether that's in the past or in the present, we'll find out. What do we have on the bottom of the deck? I have the Page of Cups. It could be something to do with family or children. It could also be something to do with... Um, an apology of some kind that's coming that you feel might be coming. Um, I am using the Lightseer's Tarot and I'm going to clarify these for you. So what I see here is you have something in the back of your mind that's nagging or gnawing at you. You really want to take um, you really want to take charge of the situation, but you don't really know what's going on here. So the Emperor is all about um, taking charge, right? That's Aries, the Emperor. And uh, it could have something to do with an Aries. It could have something also to do with a Leo or Sagittarius. And then we have a lot of swords here, which are um, air signs. And that is uh, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. So it could be any of those. I'm just going to cut these here. All right, here we go. Can we have clarity, please, on the Seven of Swords? What is going on here in the Seven of Swords with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter? The Seven of Swords is making you feel defensive. That's the second time now I've pulled that card. So I feel like you're looking over your shoulder. I, I love the look on her face here, if you can take a look. The look on her face is really... Really, is that what you want me to believe? Because I feel as though, um, being an earth sign myself, I feel as though we feel um, vibrations. Vibrations in the um, in the earth when something's coming. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but if you are an earth sign, it's almost like you know it's coming before it gets to you. And I feel like... Um, um, at least for me and the Tauruses that I know that we're quite intuitive. We tend to listen to our guts. I mean, we all are intuitive, but um, I feel like Taurus feels vibration. There's the Four of Cups, and I feel like um, there has been something that you're wondering about. So the Four of Cups in this deck is about feeling kind of despondent. You can see here that she is um, reaching sort of haphazardly for the bowl of emotion that this hand is giving to her, but she's not even looking at that person. So I feel like you don't see it coming. I feel like you're kind of bored in your life a little bit, maybe feeling a little bit defensive from past relationships, but I feel like um, you're, even in your despondent stage, you're thinking about or feeling something that's going to come up. Let's find out why the emperor is here. The Emperor, please. The Emperor is here because of a broken heart. So the Three of Swords is about what's going on in your head, connections and communications. So there has been some sort of a communication or connection that has not been good. Next card to come out is the Knight of Swords. We've got a lot of swords here. So somebody's getting some kind of communication, Taurus. So to me, when I see this... To me, as a reader, this is um, the Knight of Swords is someone who um, really needs to go. Like you can see this guy, he's got sort of, um, you can see the, the, um, the velocity in which he's traveling. You can see that um, the air is passing or he's passing through the air with his shoes there. And I feel as though there is something coming. Yeah, I think that it's something that you don't expect. And um, I think it had to do with the, uh, the Three of Swords. Um, so feeling heartbroken about an emperor um, or an Aries. Let's keep going here. Nine of Wands. Why are you defensive, Taurus? We have two cards that have fallen out, Ten of Swords. You're defensive because you just want to, um, you know, Ten of Swords is, is uh, carrying forward after making a decision to drop your mental burden. So your your mental health is, is improving a little bit. You're starting to, I feel like you're almost pulling away from the Emperor. Um, if it is an Emperor, in fact, uh, it could be someone who is an air sign as well. But I feel like by pulling away... Um, that you're putting down your burdens and you're getting some healing. So I think you're starting to dream about things that you would like in the future um, rather than being stuck on this energy um, with the emperor. Now that I look at this card here, um, I feel like 
there, uh, when I'm looking at the emperor here, I feel like um, it is an Aries that you're dealing with because I don't feel like it's a take charge sort of card here. I feel as though... Um, you feel the emperor coming towards you um, or someone who is an Aries. And um, I think that person might have broken your heart in the past. Um, and then you, you get to finally get to hear after feeling defensive, you finally get to hear you put down your burdens, um, your mental health improves, and then um, the star is what heals you. So you go through a healing process with spirit and, um, the Ace of Swords is where you get your uh, clarity or your answers because of the um, the Hanged Man. So I feel like you go into the Hanged Man uh, position, trying to see this whole situation from a different um, from a different angle. You're trying to figure out what is going on here. Um, because it has to do with love. I think that you need clarity from the Emperor about, uh, or the Aries, about what is going on in terms of love. I think there's a conversation that needs to be had. Now, the weird thing is, is I don't feel like there has been a relationship here. I don't, uh, I feel as though there has been some sort of rift that has happened, but I, I don't feel as though it was an actual love relationship. Well, maybe there were love feelings. I mean, this can happen also, remember, between, you know, you and a parent, you and a cousin, sister, brother, f special friend, best friend. Um, and so it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a romantic involvement. It's just someone that you have loving feelings for. So I feel like you're trying to look at things from a different perspective when it comes to love. And it's very curious because this is this is what it's clarifying. It's clarifying the, um, the Ace of Swords swords. We're going to keep going because I do have the five of swords here to clarify. I just want to see what is what is it that you are interested in having the last word on. I feel like you, you want to win this situation and put it to rest. I feel like you just want to be able to um, move forward from this energy that's making you crazy. All right, five of swords. Five of Swords is the Ten of Cups. So no matter what, Taurus, you are going to find your Ten of Cups, no matter what. Um, this is, you know, the Five of Swords is about um, being the last man standing sort of mentally. You've had to push past a lot of um, mental health. You've had to push through. Um, we've got a lot of swords here. You would have to push through clarity, trying to see things from a different perspective, trying to push through um, feeling deceived, trying to push through heartache and heartbreak. And I feel like you do that because what you want at any cost is you want to... Um, have the Ten of Cups, um, and that's clarifying the Five of Swords. So that really is about you winning um, everything. Five of Swords, why is that here? Because of the High Priestess. Now, the High Priestess um, is um, a message for you to connect to spirit. It is about... Um, you know, the, the High Priestess is someone who is a light worker, right? Someone who has some sort of um, clairvoyance, clairaudience, someone who um, who is the keeper of secrets. You know, it's, it's, I, I do keep a lot of secrets. I, um, um, the high priestess is usually someone who's older and has life experience, someone who is 40s, 50s, or 60s, um, someone who can give you good advice. And I feel like um, you are uh, connecting to spirit because this, this person is highly intuitive. You are connecting to spirit and um, I feel... The High Priestess is Pisces, by the way, which is my moon sign. And um, I feel like um, you are... Yeah, I think you're you're either manifesting or getting information from someone else who is a light worker telling you that it's time that you um, move forward at any cost and get the things that you really want to get, the things that you love. Okay, so put these down here. We're going to go for more clarification. So we have um, the Seven of Swords, clarified by the Nine of the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is feeling a little defensive, getting ready to put down those burdens, actions that have been taken against you. The Four of Cups is here because it's saying, you know what? Um, you're not even looking, but someone is handing you some emotion. It's like they're doing it on the down low, and. I don't know if that means that someone is thinking about you, um, but I feel like you're kind of bored where you are and you're looking for um, 
more emotion, a different type of emotion. Um, can you tell me why the Four of Cups is here, please? Clarify the Four of Cups. Clarify the Four of Cups. What's going on for Taurus here, please? Four of Cups is the Eight of Cups. So I feel like um, you are planning or thinking about walking away from things that don't matter to you anymore. So things that are no longer... Um, you know, that you're no longer emotionally invested in. And um, I think that the Four of Cups, um, clarified by the Eight of Cups, tells me that the reason you're despondent is because you may be bored in what you're doing. Bored with life, bored in a relationship, bored with a friendship. Um, let's find out why the Nine of Wands is here. Why is the Nine of Wands here, please? Why is the Nine of Wands here, please? Clarify the nine, ooh, nine of Wands. Thank you. Got two that flew out here. And we have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. So I think you've been waiting. You've been waiting because you feel you're, you're defensive because you've been waiting um, for someone to come forward and tell you um, how sorry they are for something that happens. So there is a rift here of some kind. Um, and also in the reverse came the sun. So the sun, even though it is um, the sun, it's a it's a lesser, uh, it's in the reverse and it's a lesser degree of, of brightness and you still can't see through to the end. You still can't see what's going on here and you still continue to feel what's going on here. We're going to go to the emperor and the emperor was clarified by the seven or the knight of swords, which to me is someone who is planning on you know, showing up unannounced, and the Three of Swords, which tells me that that person probably broke your heart in the past. So um, the uh, the Emperor is here, uh, who is an Aries. I just want to clarify what is about, uh, what does Taurus not see that it would be to their benefit to see? What's in the peripheral, please? Please tell me about Taurus and what is coming up. Too many. What do they not expect? What are they, what, what are they, what is going to be a surprise? The surprise is going to be the Queen of Swords. So there's going to be some conversation going down here. There's going to be, um, you know, the, there's going to be possibly some sharp words. You know, the Queen of Swords, she is someone who, um, doesn't really care how you feel about what she's saying, but she's going to tell you how she feels anyway. And, um, she's not, uh, trying to hurt you purposely purposely, um, purposefully. Anyway, um, she's not trying to hurt you, but um, she is uh, someone who always has to speak her truth. She can't have it any other way. So sometimes in speaking the truth, it hurts. And I feel like when this person shows up, you are going to speak your truth, Taurus, um, because you, again, are after your Ten of Cups, right? We saw it here. We saw it here at the end here. You're after your Ten of Cups, and so you're kind of going all in, like you have nothing to lose. Um, nothing to lose by being honest and speaking your mind. So um, what we have here is... You, the only way that you think you can have your Ten of Cups is by clearing your conscience, by talking about the things that broke your heart, about the things that um, Aries may have done to you. I'm saying Aries because I see um, the Emperor here. Can you tell me why the Three of Swords is here? What was so heartbreaking? Three of Swords, please. Three of Swords, please. Three of Swords. We have justice. Okay. So um, you didn't get your justice. You thought that it was going to bring you in balance. I don't think you expected to get your heart broken. I think you expected something to go a different way. So the justice and the Ten of Cups tells me that you, um, even though your heart was broken, you are going to be happy anyway, regardless. So um, you are going to be happy anyway, regardless. And um, you're going to do that by speaking your mind um, to the emperor, should he or she have the um, audacity to show up. <laughs> After they scrambled your heartstrings. Um, why is the Queen of Swords here? I want to know what's going to be said here. The Queen of Swords want to talk about. What does the Queen of Swords want to say to Taurus? 
mm, that maybe that their hearts open to you now um, that they are feeling they have deep feelings for you that um, they're um, you know, sorry that they, I think they're going to try and pull the romance card on you. Um, like, I mean, look at that, right? You're going to have to say no to that. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to say no to that. But um, if you're in a relationship, you may want to say no to that. Or you may want to take a different um, a different path in love. You never know. Um, so, yeah, you didn't get your justice here. But your justice, uh, I think you didn't get what you felt was justice with the Aries or the the um, the Emperor, but just remember, rejection is protection, right? So, in order for you to stay on your path, that could be why you didn't get that person. So, um, the uh, going on to the Nine of Wands, we've clarified with the Ten of Swords and with the Star. So, what happened in the healing process here? What happened after you put down your mental burdens and went forward? Ooh got two cards here. We've got um, one that is the Four of Pentacles. So you ended up, um, after your healing, after putting down your mental um, anguish, you decided that you weren't going to share like that anymore. You weren't going to be in a relationship. You weren't going to do the things that you usually do in a relationship. In fact, you didn't really want to have anything to do with it. So um, then we have the uh, temperance card and that's what puts you back in balance so you had you didn't have the justice that you wanted with the Aries and that's fine because you know you're you're moving on to a ten of cups life anyway regardless and that's what Taurus does just keeps moving forward um, we're used to not getting the things that we want unfortunately but um, the uh, temperance here tells me that you put down those mental burdens and you decided that you were going to heal so you connected to spirit right? Card of Aquarius. You connected to spirit and um, you decided that you're just going to put down those burdens, those mental burdens, and you're going to move on. So then we end up with you getting um, clarity or wanting to speak to someone, um, trying to see the situation from a different perspective, the hanged man, about someone that you love. So I'm going to ask, who is it that you love? Who are you trying to get a different perspective on? We have the Knight of Pentacles. So you're trying to get a pers different perspective on that feeling of someone coming forward. So the Knight of Pentacles we know is the slowest knight in the deck, but um, we feel as though someone is coming for us, that someone's coming coming with an offer. Um, what perspective do we need on love? Why are you trying to find a different perspective on love, please? Ooh. Different perspective on love because of the devil. Yep, the devil. So to me, that is um, codependence. It's codependency um, in a relationship, perhaps, um, perhaps at the time when you were speaking with um, with the emperor, the Aries. I feel like you felt codependent. Like um, you just really wanted to get together with this person. You felt you had love feelings for them. You're waiting for them to bring in a pentacle for you, and it just never happened. And then we have um, the magician in the reverse. You kept trying to. Um, you kept trying to manifest this person, but the fact of the matter is, is that they were never yours. Uh, the magician, even though you were trying to manifest, um, you put down your fears, moon in the reverse, and then you kept trying to manifest, but then the angel shows up. And the angel says, you know what? You won't be happy here. And because you haven't been happy in the past, Taurus, I'm telling you that things are going to go forward for you and you're going to be the happiest you've ever been. So I think all of this sadness, the heartbreak, um, all of that, I think was worth it because I feel like you then come out with your... Um, uh, your gut feeling in place, the ability to be able to make a good decision. And this really, if nothing else, is the Taurus. You know, someone who is who is trying to be the last, the last man or woman standing um, will fight to the end, will um, not back down uh, until all the swords are taken. So I feel like the angel shows up, um, the angel of the night shows up, which is the only uh, difference in this deck from all the others is it has the angel of the night but the angel of the night says i'm here i'm here and i'm telling you that things are going to get better and um you are going to have your ten of cups um tell me why the high priestess is here what secrets is she holding 
Ah, secret she's holding is someone's coming back from the past. So we've got the judgment card here. Now we are in Mercury retrograde and we will be until the middle of next month. So there usually is a week that's pulling us into Mer Mercury retrograde and a week that's pulling us out. So really in all, we have probably about five weeks of retrograde. And um, the purpose is to pull people out of the past, bring them to your present so you can clean your karma. So... Um, this person, it could be your Aries, this person is someone who um, may have been in your past and broke your heart. I feel like that person is the one that you are feeling over here. I feel, you know, when I was putting down this card, I felt like there was defense, but I feel like you feel that the emperor is not being honest with you, that there's something that they didn't tell you, something that they held back, and... Um, I think that they're coming forward, to be honest, because they want healing too. And I think they feel that the only way that they can get healing is if they can heal with you, is if they can get um, to a point where they can speak to you, give you clarity, and you can speak back, give clarity, um, use that Queen of Wands energy, speak your truth. I feel like they feel that's the only way to heal this whole thing is if they come forward and have a really good in-depth talk with you. Um, why is the Ten of Cups here, please? Tell me why the Ten of Cups is here. Ten of Cups is here because of the Seven of Wands. So you are feeling a little bit defensive. You're taking the higher ground. You did take the higher ground when it came to this Aries or this Emperor. You did take the higher ground. And the, um, the Seven of Wands tells me that, yeah... You didn't like the actions they took against you. Um, you didn't like what they did. You didn't like that they broke your heart. You didn't like all that stuff. But um, you're taking the higher ground. And you're just going to carry on with your life. Because you have this to go after. You have this ten of cups to go after. You see it in the distance. And that's what you want. Um, then we have the five of cups. The thing is, is that you can't stop thinking about the past. So the five of cups to me is about, you know, lamenting about what could have been, what should have been. You know, we can shit on ourselves should on our show on ourselves um we can do that but really is it worth it because there are so many gifts coming like you're at the very beginning of the beautifulness of pentacles being able to um well, this tells me also that it's a page, so it also tells me that there could have been uh, an age difference between you and the um, and the emperor or the Aries. I feel like this person um, gave you gifts, um, gifts that you didn't understand were gifts at the time. So I feel like there's a friendship here, a friendship here that almost turned to love, but it didn't. And I feel like this person really is uh, I think you two are thinking about each other and the times that you had together, the happiness, the fun. Um, something went awry here. I think there ended up being some sort of an attraction and um, that's what I feel. There's some sort of attraction and then um, uh, it had to be it had to be stopped. That's what I feel. It had to be stopped. I'm just going to ask um, this little deck here, my little... Um, uh, under the Roses, Lenormand. And I'm just going to ask about the Five of Cups. Why are you looking to the past here, Taurus? What's the Five of Cups? Why are you looking to the past? Why are you looking to the past here? Ooh. Because you want a new start. Hmm. Because you still have love for that person. And this is the Locket. And the Locket is, is about um, someone being overbearing so you have an overwhelming or overbearing sort of feeling that you want to know what this emperor aries has to say um the locket is about experiencing romance and intimacy so um cherishing joy um happiness bliss um but it also is love and romance or platonic love and that's what I feel like it was here I feel like it started out as platonic love and then didn't um didn't proceed past that or maybe somebody did have feelings I did also pull the child so the child tells me that there is something youthful about this that there is something um um, coming that may restart this thing. So what do I think? I think that there was something, um, what I feel though, is that there was something with the Aries, um, with the emperor that broke the heart. 
And now what you're not expecting is that this person's coming in to say sorry. And um, they are someone who is very, um, what's the word? They are someone who is very, um, they have a lot of integrity. So this king, I believe here, has a lot of integrity. That this king is quite emotional, but does have a lot of integrity when it comes to making decisions. Because they always want the best for the person that they're making decisions with or for. Um, the king of cups, to me, is someone who is always making decisions based on being emotional. And uh, so that tells me that they're always willing to um, bring someone up that is feeling down. Of course, hang on. There we go. What did we get? We got air imagination. Neat. It's got a little witch there. Um, so I feel like, yeah, there was something going on between you and the Aries. That person went away. You guys stopped talking for whatever reason. And I feel like that is what you feel coming for us. I feel like this person is coming back to clean their karma because of retrograde. And then we have Lord God Masculine. So let's take a look here. Let's take a look here. We're going to go first to Imagination and Air. Is that? Yeah, that is imagination. Okay, it says, Don't be afraid. No need for fright. Imagination's sacred sight. Um, time to believe, for tis the key. Unleash your gift. Um, trust what you see. So what I feel this is about is um, you actually getting some closure with this person. I feel like you've carried on. I feel like you're still searching for your Ten of Cups, but you've carried on. And I think that your closure is about to come. It says the power of air sweeps through your imagination, urging you to believe what you see, for you have been blessed with a sacred sight. And this is what I feel. I feel like most of the people that I know that are Taurus do have that ability to um, to have a second sight or a sacred sight. And um, I am one of those Tauruses as well. So um, strange shapes in the sky, vivid colors as you close your eyes. Um, as you close your eyes, sighting repetitive signs and symbols in deeds. So disregard your doubts about your ability to clear seeing. So you don't have to have all the answers right now, Taurus. It's okay if you don't. It's okay if you just feel it coming. Just know that it is. And um, don't don't worry about it any further from there. It says, for these fears blow you off course. Don't let the fears blow you off course, right? Because this is your course. You want your Ten of Cups, right? And... Um, it says, for your imagination is the gateway. Call upon the spirits of the air to enhance your creativity and meditation abilities and to uh, simulate your mind as, oh, stimulate your mind as you light incense, a yellow candle, and face the direction of east. Now, interestingly enough, um, facing the direction of east, that is allegedly the place that Christ is supposed to come from when he comes back to the earth. Um, if you're following religion. So it's interesting that they talk about the East. Um, this is a great time for fertility as air blows you into the direction of new beginnings. So throw caution to the wind and watch as your visions manifest into reality. So you are manifesting your Ten of Cups. And regardless of, you know, I, I feel as though that the person that I'm connecting with is that if had you not gone through this stuff with the Emperor here, that you may not be on this path. It may have not, um, you may be someone who thought, okay, fine, you're going to do this to me? I don't need you. I'm going to keep moving. And that's kind of really what the Taurus does, just keeps moving. So we're going to look at Lord God Masculine. What is that? There we go. Lord God Masculine says, toughen up, um, be self-reliant. <laughs> That's what the Taurus does, right? When when things get tough for Taurus, Taurus just toughens up and, and just moves on through. It says, brave and bold, become a giant. Honor your, your male energy. Um, use it wisely. It will, it will set you free. Now, we all have 
female and male divine energy. So one side is female, one side is male. And sometimes, depending on who we are, we will um, identify more with being male or being female, even if we are male or female. I know a lot of males who identify more with their female side and a lot who identify more with their male side. That happens with women as well. We all have uh, the ability to have both of these. It says here, the power of the Lord God is requiring for your situation um, you are inquiring about the power of the Lord God is required for the situation you are inquiring about. Toughen up and use the masculine energy that pulses through your very being. Whether you are male or female, you must um, acknowledge that nat the, the natural presence of both energies that reside within. In order to make up the whole of who you are, right now you are urged to connect with your masculine side to harness the driving the driving force of independence. A, a Nash a rational and analytical attitude is required in order to over in order not to overthink any emotions that often rule you the lord god is uh waiting to be called upon so that he can provide you with uh, the tools that you need for the battle ahead. With the divine masculine on your side, you can be sure that you are on the winning team. This is an auspicious omen. So you keep moving ahead, Taurus. You keep moving ahead to where you need to be. And um, I feel like you shouldn't really worry about this situation with... Um, and the emperor or the Aries, I feel like it's going to catch up when you need it to. So um, I don't think you should worry too much about it. It is in the back of your mind. You feel like there's something that wasn't said. You feel like... Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Taurus, <laughs> but my... Um my camera shut off. So what I was going to say at the end of this reading was don't worry about that too much because um, that is going to catch up to you regardless. It's going to catch up to you and it will catch up to you when you're ready for it. So if you are the person who is going after your 10 of cups, I think you should, should continue to do that. Yes, there is some lamentation. You're looking at the past, but I think you're mostly healed from that, from this situation with the emperor or the Aries. So I think that with um, this on your side, I think that you are going to be able to move forward without an issue. Just let that other stuff cut up, catch up. It's in the back of your mind, but take care of it when it needs to. Otherwise, just, you know, keep moving ahead. You want to be the last man standing. All right, that's all I want to say. <laughs> and now I can end it. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you for coming here. Thank you for being here. And thank you so much for um, all that you give me. Please read below. And there's a link up there for um, a sale that I am having on, um, on reading. So if you're interested in getting in on that for October, please do so. Thank you so much for coming here. Bye-bye.